I'm going to show you the world's smallest microphone boom arm. So you've bought a microphone and you've placed it on your desk and it looks fantastic, but you still sound terrible. Why, dum-dum? Why do you leave it all the way on your desk over there when we remembered that microphones love close proximity? Microphones want to be close. Sorry for calling you dum-dum. Uh, sorry, not sorry. We solve this in one of two ways. We either get ourselves an articulating big microphone boom <laughs> mic arm that clamps onto a desk somewhere and allows you to move your mic around. Awesome. We can solve this with a desktop stand, a stand that sits on a tabletop and allows us to uh, move our microphone around. Awesome. I wanted the best of both worlds. I wanted a compact tabletop solution that allowed me to also articulate like a big boom mic arm. My number one feature request and requirement from most of the kit that I buy is compactness. I can't have a lot of stuff here because I don't have a lot of room here. I'm literally on a little study nook uh, without a lot of room. So I solved this problem by getting what I consider to be the world's smallest boom microphone arm. Yeah, I said it, it's the smallest. Come at me, come at me, come at me. What you're looking at here is my microphone boom arm. Now, it's a bit of a lie. It's actually what we call an articulating magic arm. They're designed to be on HDMI monitors. So whenever you see a, uh, a, a mobile camera rig and you see a HDMI monitor attached, they're often attached to arms like this. They come in various sizes, a little tiny, a couple of inch ones, and really long or sort of long, uh, 11 inch is what I'm looking at here, which is about 30 centimeters for the rest of the world. And what they do, which is kind of cool, they kind of behave like a articulating boom mic arm. So I can move this thing around. Remember, my number one requirement is closeness. My number one requirement is that it sits next to me. So I can move this up and down, just like that. I often sit it right next to me, just off frame. So it sits literally that far away from my mouth. When I'm sitting down like this at a lower position, I can leave it at this lower position. When I wanna bring it back up here, I can bring it back up here. Uh, if I want to fold it away, nice and simple, one twist, fold it away, even better, this particular one, I've got it attached to a, a super clamp. This is a small rig super clamp, so what I can actually do and what I do every time I'm finished, I fold it away down this way, and then I undo my super clamp, and then I hide it away under here. And voila, there is no more microphone in place. When I want it back, I bring it back out, clamp it back on, one twist, turn this guy back up, position it where I want to position it, just underneath my frame over here. And now I've got a microphone ready to go again. How cool is that? I can go backwards and forwards with having zero microphone on my tabletop to having a really nice and close microphone that I can work with. And then I'll close it back up and then back up. And then we're gone, no more microphone. Ooh, magic, lapel mic. And that's kind of my really quick tip on how to get the world's smallest and most compact uh, boom arm for your microphone. The big ones are amazing if you've got the room. The little tabletop ones are fantastic if you wanna keep moving it around. I kinda of like this. This is the best of both worlds. This is an articulating uh, microphone arm that can, I can also hide away. My particular one is a newer, Niwa, Niwa? My particular one is a Niwa 11 inch, which is kinda of the longest you can get them. So if you want longer than 11 inch, then you should probably go get a big articulating arm uh, and my little small rig super clamp. And then on the top of that, there's a thread that will allow, allow you to attach uh, any microphone uh, that you want. So that's it, go nuts. Thank you so much for watching. There are other quickies coming. Uh, subscribe, like, all those things. Uh, be good, be excellent, out.